at a police department in Michigan called Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety. I was a police and a firefighter. We did both. We all had German Shepherds, and we only spoke German to our dogs. The, the dogs only knew German commands, they, or they were taught Czechoslovakian commands, but it was either German or Czech. We didn't speak, we didn't give our dog English commands. And my, like my dog came from Germany, and he did not, he didn't understand English commands, we only gave them German commands. Seats, sit, pocking, I mean, it's not like you hold a conversation with your dog, but commands for your dog. Right. The department, I was the first black canine handler and it had a lot of racial issues. To me, I don't think it was a big deal, but to them and the people I work with, it was very upsetting that I got a dog because I never had any problems in this police department before I got a dog. And after I got my dog, I mean, I literally, when I first got my dog, I had officers threaten me, call me on my phone. They were so upset that I got a dog. And to this day, I don't still understand what the big deal is. It was over a dog. Stupid stuff that you would not ever believe a police officer would say. In Indiana, most of the black people, I would say 95% of the black people in Indiana live in Indianapolis. Yeah, they don't live in the rural areas. It's mostly white. I'm sure there's places that white people move and they don't want to deal with a bunch of black people, you know. I guess they probably feel more comfortable being around their own. I live in an apartment complex where I don't pay rent. I'm a courtesy officer. Me and a couple other officers live there rent free. And what we do is, it's an apartment complex that they have some uh, problems with gangs and drugs. And we live out there to help them with the problem. We take reports, we make arrests, we patrol. And it helps us and it helps them. We get to save money. They get extra security, you know, they get security all the time because we live there. Mark Banks, the officer you met, I was telling him you were coming. He said, you're probably on a crappy BM, B, uh, Beamer bike, a BMW bike. And I said, oh no, he's probably on a Harley. And then you pull up on a BMW bike. So he was like, I told you, I told you he's going to be on a crappy BMW bike. <laughs> but most of the people I know, they ride Harleys. Handlebars come back to you. You've got a little bit of a bend in your elbow. You can put a detachable windshield on here, which is something that I would recommend. Um, but you get a good body position. When you get in those situations, you want to be able to quickly and instinctively do what you need to do to maintain control of the bike. Gradually work your way up to a little bit more traffic over time, and that's what gives you good experience, you know. Ride around. Get familiar with those mirrors. Okay, you stop, you go, you make right hand turns, you make left hand turns. And you'd be surprised if you just keep building up on those things. Right, how? You're going to be fine. You know, you, you're, I don't even think about going down. You're not going to Right, go down. yeah.